Hi again, dear readers of TechX. This time we have an interview with Mr. Ryan Wedig, the CEO of Vision. Vision is a technology company working to eliminate server print, uh, print server. And uh, uh, Vision is based in San Jorge, Utah in the United States. Most welcome, Ryan. Thank you. Thanks for having nice me. Nice meeting you. Yeah, it's great meeting you as well. Thank you. Uh, actually, I like uh, uh, when I knew that we will meet. Actually, I like to understand from you that target in this we have in this age of uh, digital transformation. Your company is working to eliminate print servers. Yeah. If you can tell me about uh, Vision and this point specifically. Yeah. So our mission as a company is to make digital transformation attainable for everyone. Yeah. It's a big, broad mission. But it really started with the flagship product, which was Printer Logic. And, and, and the, the real focus of Printer Logic, the first product that we brought to market, was just to eliminate the need for print servers. Um, we saw, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time as an engineer at Cisco, and yeah. we were ripping out pizza boxes and virtualizing uh, pizza boxes, bringing uh, the remote infrastructure uh, for applications into the private clouds of, yeah. of these companies, and uh, when when I saw what Printer Logic was doing as a product uh, to eliminate all of that infrastructure associated with printing at yeah. the branch and bring that into a private cloud, that was kind of phase one. And so I partnered up with uh, the original founder, Jarrett. It was just the two of us, and yeah. we got going about about a decade ago. And, and that message really resonated at the time because so many people were were creating. Um, just getting all that branch hardware out, out of the branch and, and into the private cloud. Now we've extended that into uh, public cloud with our partners like uh, Amazon, uh, AWS, and then uh, yeah. also with, with Azure, yeah. where we actually have a, a true cloud native SaaS offering. And at the end of the day, what we do is we, we create a, a direct relationship with the endpoints and the printers. We just cut out the print server and we teach those endpoints how to print directly yeah. to, the, to the printers themselves. Yeah, since when you established a uh, uh, vision company? Um, well, uh, in 2012 is yeah. when we wrote the business plan for Printer Logic yeah. and um, got, got going then toward the end of, of 2012 in August. Yeah. Yep. And for the market in the United States, uh, before, bef sorry, before you start uh, Vision, uh, the industry which called uh, serverless yeah. in printing industry, was it there uh, uh, for, for many years before? Uh, there, was, there was one other company by the name of Serato um, that started up right about the same time as us. And so the thought was, was there. Yeah. Um, but we were definitely well ahead of the market. We were, if you look at the innovators curve, it was about 16%, which makes up kind of the innovators and the early adopters. Yeah. That, that was the target market that we were going after. And what, what we've seen is uh, we're, well in, we're, we're really getting into that early majority where you have the big, you know, you're, you're really approaching 50% of the market saying, hey, we, we've got to get out of this print server game. And things like COVID yeah. um, uh, have accelerated that and really pushed us into folks saying, how do we get rid of all of our server infrastructure? Yeah. And print servers are a part of that. And then, um, you know, additionally, just just people in general going to a zero trust posture mm -hmm. for their IT infrastructure. Um, all, all of that is just, 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 they're just tailwinds for us. Yeah. Uh, Vision is attending in uh, uh, Jitex yeah. nowadays. Yes. So uh, w what about your target from uh, Attending, uh, we're really, Jitex, yeah, yeah, we're really excited to be at Jitex because, um, and, and, and tell me about your experience also with, with Jitex. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm, I, this has been great so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've only been here for this first day, but mm -hmm. it's just been an incredible experience in terms of. Well, it took us, it took us a good five years mm -hmm. in the U.S. before we were really in a position to go into the the EMEA market. But when I say mm -hmm. EMEA, it was very much yeah. focused on Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's been another five years since we've been really getting ourselves established. When we go into a market, we, we need to have enough resource to actually support that. Like yeah. partnerships 
need to really be partnerships. It yeah. can't just be us throwing technology out there and hoping people pick it up. And so um, it took us a good five years to build out the team properly uh, in, in Europe and get the sales and the customers and, and all those references. Um, but that's really solid now. So it actually got to the point where the European team is like, look, you know, in every other place that we've been, and this is a really high caliber group of people, yeah. you know, the, you, you can't leave out the Middle East and you can't leave out kind of the, the open opportunity for, for Africa because our technologies really apply to what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. And, um, and so it was fun to have the, the European team coming to us and saying, we've got, we've got to, we, we can't miss out. Ryan, any I would longer. like to ask you usually, who, is, who are your clients? What is the target? What is your market? Um, well, originally, that's a great question. Originally, it was very much focused on large enterprise. Uh, um, so if you take one of our first case studies that we like to, we mm -hmm. like to talk about is, you take the Department of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. They had 400 print servers all over the place. And when they took a look at how much does it cost to manage each of those print servers, they said, mm -hmm. there's a cost to get them up and running, there's a cost for licensing, there's a cost for hardware, even if it's virtualized, there's still a cost for the compute. Uh, there's a cost to create the scripts and the GPOs and to push out printers. There's a cost when I get a help desk call associated with printing. And all of those costs, when we add that up, it's about $4,000 per print server. And, um, and, then, and then when they, they looked at we, what we were doing, we were saying, hey, we can give you an ROI in, in, in six months. Mm. And so they, it was a no-brainer for them and they moved forward. The reason why I go through that case study to answer your question is, the bigger and the more complex, yeah. like the better, because yeah. the, the, the more print servers you have, the easier it is to get to a quick ROI. Uh, in 2016, when we developed our SaaS solution, it, we actually created uh, what we call our MSP portal, which we, we removed the tier one support from, from our team and moved the, that into the managed service providers. We moved the acquisition of the customers mm -hmm. to those managed service providers. Yeah. And that's taken off. So like before where we were only enterprise focused, uh, 50 printers or more, yeah. now we've been able to drive down into the, and serving the rest of the folks through yeah. the MSP channel. Yeah. Uh, uh, before we finish our interview, I would like to ask also about the challenges which face uh, you have a little bit it's actually it's a unique and different target uh, for to eliminate print servers yeah what are the challenges which you face in that well the challenges that our customers face mm. specifically are uh, usually twofold and we see this really as, as problems that we can help solve and the, the first challenge that we see it's just around infrastructure, like especially as we go down and we look into kind of yeah. Africa, bandwidth can be an issue. So uh, they're, they're going to want to get rid of that infrastructure at the branch, but if they do that, all of a sudden it's going to put pressure on, on their WAN, which is really expensive and, and quite often limited, right? Yeah. So what we do is by training those endpoints to print directly on the local LAN and keep those jobs locally, it doesn't, they can, they can get rid of that branch infrastructure, mm -hmm. but at the same time have the benefit of keeping traffic local. Um, so that's, that's one of the things that we do that's like really beneficial going into this market. The second thing, the, one of the big challenge that they face is just the security posture of the print server itself. So everyone is familiar with hashtag print nightmare. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a known security vulnerability going on with the print servers are out there. That's the standard status quo. And um, by eliminating the print servers, you, you eliminate that, that attack factor. Yeah. So I think the main challenge that we face as a company is just getting the word out yeah. and really establishing the relationships that we need to establish uh, in the Middle East, going through Africa. And we've, we've got some great customers uh, in, in both of those regions, but it's, it's really time for us to shake yeah. hands, yeah. meet people, create real partnerships, and we're just here. We're just so excited to be here and doing that. Yeah, yeah. because I, I, I think that companies and uh, all sectors actually, they, they, they basically they were in, invested in server printing. Yep. So now we try to change their strategy. So uh, I, I'm not sure if it's easy uh, to to encourage them. Well, it was hard. To go for one yeah. Serverless. I mean, we've been at this for 10 years, and each of the markets, like the way I usually describe it is, you know, the, the U.S. market tends to be a little bit cowboy in terms of like technology mm. over really pushing security. 
Uh, but the good news about us as a company is we've been in the European market long enough where securities first and then technology yeah. follows. Yeah. And so what that's done is it's really forced us to build this in a very even keel way um, where we've, we've had to support both. You know, like we, we, we get ahead of technology immediately, Europe is sitting there saying, okay, but how does that work from a security stance? Yeah. And so um, the, the product is, is ready and and now in those two markets, they're, they've become very mature where we used to have to kind of like convince people and create more technology to, to meet the needs of both those sides, the push of the technology, the push of the security. Um, it's been a decade in the making, but like we're really mm -hmm. in a sweet spot in terms of where our technology is at and where the market's at. Yeah. And so um, I, think, I think as we look at the opportunity in the Middle East and across Africa, it's like, you guys are going to get the best of both worlds. No matter where you're at on that spectrum of going straight to public, trusting these public clouds and mm. being able to go full send on SaaS, or if you need a virtual appliance version of that software that you deploy um, locally but get the benefits of centrally managed direct IP printing, we're in a position to be able to, to hit everybody across that market with a, a really mature, yeah. uh, ready to go. You have a clear technology. strategy for MIA region, Middle East, Africa? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the number one step, like I said, is to demonstrate that we're here for real yeah. <laughs> and to, to, to be a partner in the, for the long term. Perfect. And so that's, I mean, that's, that's what this is. This is a kickoff for us to go meet those partners, create those mm -hmm. relationships, mm -hmm. and demonstrate over time that, that the EMEA team is truly an EMEA team, not just a European team. This is great. Thank you, Ryan. Really nice to meet you and wishing you best of luck. Great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. It was Thank great so to much. meet you Good as well. Good luck there. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much.